I'm diving into the most intense Cold War battles that split nations apart, and I'm challenging myself to uncover the stories behind them. The Cold War was more than just a political standoff between the United States and the Soviet Union. It was a series of proxy wars that divided nations worldwide, creating deep-seated tensions that still resonate today. The central issue of the Cold War was an ideological divide that pitted capitalism against communism, with the United States and its allies on one side, and the Soviet Union and its allies on the other. This ideological chasm led to conflicts in various regions, including Korea, Vietnam and Afghanistan, where the superpowers fought each other through local surrogates. The Korean War, for instance, saw the United States lead a coalition of United Nations forces against North Korea and China, resulting in a stalemate that has yet to be fully resolved. In Vietnam, the United States supported the anti-communist South against the North, leading to a protracted and bloody conflict that would claim millions of lives. And in Afghanistan, the Soviet Union's invasion sparked a long and brutal resistance that would eventually contribute to the downfall of the Soviet Empire. At the end of World War II in 1945, a new confrontation transformed the global stage the Cold War. As World War II ended in 1945, the world witnessed the emergence of two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, whose rivalry would shape an entire era. This conflict, known as the Cold War, divided the globe into two opposing blocs, the capitalist West and the communist East, each with its own alliances, satellite states, and intense ideological, political, and economic campaigns. Why was it called the Cold War? Because these two superpowers never engaged in direct military conflict. Instead, their struggle played out through proxy wars, political crises, and fierce propaganda. The Soviet Union funded and fueled socialist revolutions, while the United States countered by supporting coups and destabilization efforts, especially in Latin America. Although the Cold War formally began in 1945, its roots trace back to 1917, when the Russian Revolution ignited an ideological competition that would define the 20th century. The tension that destroyed alliances, Russia, and the US after World War II. With the 1917 Russian Revolution, Russia became the first socialist nation, not only reshaping its destiny, but also impacting the global landscape. This revolutionary shift fueled a rift with the US, as Soviet leaders declared that capitalism had to be overthrown and replaced by communism. This ideological rivalry led the US to support the White Army during the Russian Civil War, though ultimately the Red Army led by Trotsky, emerged victorious. By 1945 however, history took an unexpected turn as the Soviet Union and the US allied to stop Hitler. This unity led to the Yalta Conference, where Stalin, Churchill and Roosevelt discussed Europe's restructuring and future peace. Soon after at the Potsdam Conference, with Hitler defeated and Germany surrendered, key decisions were made. Germany was divided into four occupation zones, for the USSR, the UK, the US and France, disarmament and demilitarization were mandated, annexed territories were returned, Nazi war criminals were to be prosecuted, and the United Nations was established. While these conferences secured temporary agreements, they also sparked a latent rivalry that would soon escalate into the Cold War, dividing the world into two opposing ideological blocs. The Marshall Plan and the Rise of NATO Western Strategies Against Soviet Expansion After World War II, the Soviet Union occupied various areas of Eastern Europe under the pretense of having liberated them. In response to this expansion, the US introduced the Marshall Plan, an ambitious economic program that provided vast sums to rebuild Western Europe and West Germany from 1948 to 1952. The goals were clear, restore war-torn economies, remove trade barriers, modernize industry, and make the continent prosperous again, all to prevent the spread of communism in vulnerable post-war Europe. Some critics saw the Marshall Plan as a form of economic imperialism, but for the US it was essential in curbing Soviet influence. Yet economic aid wasn't the only countermeasure. In 1949, the US spearheaded the formation of NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, 
a military alliance wherein each member pledged to defend the others if attacked. This established a system of collective defense against external threats. In 1955, the Soviet Union responded with the Warsaw Pact, forming a rival military alliance in the East. With Europe divided by the Iron Curtain, tensions escalated further. Beyond Europe, conflict intensified. In 1949, Mao Zedong's Red Army defeated the Kuomintang in the Chinese Civil War, securing another communist stronghold and redrawing the geopolitical map. Crisis and Confrontation The Cold War on the brink of nuclear conflict, communist victory in China forged an alliance between the Soviet Union and the newly established People's Republic of China. But Stalin soon faced an unexpected challenge. U.S. forces intervened in 1950 to defend South Korea from North Korea's communist regime. After intense fighting, the Korean conflict reached a ceasefire in 1953, the same year Stalin died and Nikita Khrushchev succeeded him. Meanwhile, Europe lay in the shadow of the, the mass migration of 15 million people from the Eastern Bloc to the West alarmed the Kremlin. In Berlin, where people were crossing freely to the capitalist side, the construction of the Berlin Wall in 1961 solidified the divide between East and West Germany, separating Bonn as the capital of the Federal Republic of Germany from East Berlin, the capital of the German Democratic Republic. The risk of nuclear war kept both superpowers cautious, aware of the potential for mutual destruction. Yet, in 1962, the nearly pushed the world into nuclear war. After the failed Bay of Pigs invasion, President Kennedy imposed a blockade on Cuba upon discovering Soviet missiles pointed at the U.S. This crisis became one of the Cold War's most dangerous moments, with both sides narrowly avoiding disaster. The Cold War Crisis, Espionage, and the End of the Iron Curtain At the height of the Cuban Missile Crisis, when nuclear war seemed imminent, Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev ultimately yielded, ordering Soviet ships carrying missiles to turn back. Meanwhile, the U.S. was entangled in the Vietnam War, a grueling conflict with North Vietnam and communist guerrillas in South Vietnam that extended into Laos and Cambodia. This war proved a costly setback for the U.S sparking frustration and exhaustion among the American public. The Cold War unfolded on many fronts beyond military battlefields, espionage, reciprocal inspections, conferences, diplomatic crises, and of course the, the Soviet Union launched the first satellite in 1957, prompting a rapid American response with in 1958. Each achievement was a matter of prestige. The Soviets sent the first man into space, but the US was first to put a man on the moon in 1969. In 1980, Ronald Reagan assumed the presidency with an aggressive stance on communism, labeling the Soviet Union the evil empire and increasing military spending. Together with newly elected British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, he pursued a relentless anti-communist agenda and introduced a doctrine advocating not just containment, but also the active subversion of communist regimes. Finally, in 1989, the fall of the symbolized the opening of borders and the collapse of the communist bloc. This event marked the end of the Cold War and dissolved tensions between the blocs. Since then, most former communist countries have embraced capitalist policies and ideologies integrating into a transformed world. In summary, the Cold War was a complex and multifaceted conflict that divided nations worldwide. Through a series of proxy wars and key battles, the superpowers shaped the contours of international relations, often at the expense of local populations. Today, we continue to live with the legacy of the Cold War, from the ongoing tensions in Korea to the rise of new global powers. What do you think was the most pivotal battle of the Cold War? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you want to learn more about the Cold War, be sure to check out my next video for more insights into this fascinating chapter of human history. Hello Time Voyagers friends, if you enjoyed the content please take a moment to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Your support means the world to us and helps us continue creating exciting videos. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We genuinely welcome your comments and love hearing your thoughts. A big hug to all our followers, and a heartfelt thank you to our troops and officials for their invaluable support. We appreciate you being here.